It is a waiting game now for the ruling on President Joe Biden's student loan debt relief plan. Today was the last official opinion release day on the U.S. Supreme Court's calendar. We have the latest on the program that could wipe out student loans for millions of Americans in our top story at 6. The high court did not release their ruling on the student debt forgiveness program today. The U.S. Supreme Court now expected to release more rulings tomorrow at 9 central time. There's a possibility of the ruling on the relief plan that, that it may be released before then. Now, yesterday, the U.S. House of Representatives confirmed President Joe Biden's veto on a bill that would have ended his student loan forgiveness program. That plan would cancel up to $10,000 for Americans, making less than $125,000 a year. And those who received Pell Grants would get up to $20,000 in debt forgiveness. South Dakota Senator John Thune says he hopes the high court strikes down this debt relief plan. And I just think that the American people find it offensive to think that they could take the 13 percent of people in this country who have student loans, take that debt and transfer it to the 87 percent of people who don't have student loans. And that's what we're doing. This is all going on the, 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 the national debt. It's all on the federal debt. Uh, this was purely a political ploy on the president's part. And it's really unfortunate. Senator Thune adds that President Biden has not done anything meaningful to address the high cost of college education. Now, more than 40 million Americans will have to begin making payments to their student loans in just a few months. Student loan interest will start accruing on September 1st and payments begin in October. This was part of the debt ceiling deal that President Biden made with congressional leaders to raise the debt limit, which was ultimately approved by Congress. The freeze on student loan payments started during the Trump administration and was extended several times between the Trump and Biden administrations.